Hi, welcome back to St Blazing Modern World. It's time to reassemble our collection of bits into a model bus. Well, this really isn't that hard to do. It's just a reversal of the uh, disassembly procedure. And the only problem I'm going to have is that some of this uh, is a bit tricky to do on camera. Or while I'm holding the camera and filming. So firstly, we're going to complete the reassembly of the lower deck. And I've put the seating and the glass together so that it's uh, joined as one piece. Just makes it a bit easier to get back in and uh, that of course will be fitted into the lower deck here and hopefully what you'll end up with is something that looks a bit like this so now we'll reassemble the top deck and it's a bit easier to deal with than the lower deck got the roof there the glass make sure that the glass is the right way round or that you're attempting to fit it the right way round you'll notice the rear is uh, considerably more curved on the glass than the front of the lower deck uh, of the upper deck rather so uh, make sure that that matches the profile of the bodywork so that's our glass installed next we have our upper deck seating Turn that upside down, pop that into place, and that's it, that's the upper deck put together. So now we need to join the upper deck and the lower deck. Okay, now we have our two halves completely assembled, ready to join together. Now when we took this model apart I mentioned the poles and showed them to you and I said that they weren't going to be there when the vehicle was reassembled. I'm actually going to glue these two halves together. Now as with most things in this world there's more than one way to go about it and uh, I know that a lot of you uh, would probably plan on using super glue and you can but a word of caution. I'm no scientist, but whatever is in super glue gives off very strong fumes, and I have seen instances of the fumes from the glue misting and even partially dissolving the plastic that makes up the glass in the model. The other issue with super glue is that by the time you've applied it all the way around the edge, got your top deck, joined them together and made sure that everything is a neat fit. That super glue might have dried before the process is complete and that's obviously not ideal. You can of course buy two part uh, adhesives that bond together and the chemical reaction cures the uh, the glue and they work very well they often can be bought in uh, a syringe type form and you don't even have to worry too much about mixing equal parts of the uh, resin and the hardener uh, like we did with in the old days with uh, araldite although uh, araldite probably still is around i haven't used it for a long time Whichever method you use, uh, you're going to need to make sure, of course, that the two halves stay together while the glue sets. And uh, for that, uh, I use some uh, pretty industrial G clamps. Enter Exhibit A. And, of course, uh, I use some cardboard because uh, you need to protect the painted surfaces and you don't want to destroy all of the work that you've done. So it's all looking rather medieval. We've uh, got two decent sized G clamps around some cardboard wrapped around the model and there it is crushed together uh, so that we've got a good join uh, between the upper and lower decks. 
and you can turn this around make sure you've got a good join both sides and uh, that looks okay so you could do that having applied the glue already another way in which you could do this is to set the model up as demonstrated here and then apply a thin band of super glue if you wanted to use it around the join between the two decks that way the seal is already good you know that you're going to need a minimal amount of glue and hopefully everything will be okay and because I don't particularly need this model that's the method that we're going to use so here we are the uh, G clamps and the cardboard are, are now off of course and uh, our top deck and our lower deck are glued together the super glue method well I'm not truly a fan it's one way of doing it you do need to be careful that you don't get runs of super glue all over the uh, windows and the bodywork but um, it's done the job next we need to attach the chassis and for that we can uh, safely go with a super glue option and it's quite simple we'll turn the vehicle onto its roof apply some glue get our chassis and make sure it's the right way round of course and there's a slight lug on the front of the chassis just there you need to get that located uh, and then uh, sit the rest of the chassis down and uh, apply uh, say once you've applied the glue you just wait for that to dry so that's what we'll do next so that glue has dried and uh, you can see the two holes uh, where the clips were at the bottom of the poles that ran right through the model originally just for completeness I've applied some black paint at the back end of the chassis area here and uh, the only reason really for doing that is that if this model was sitting uh, in a display cabinet with glass shelves you don't really want to look at uh, an area that's got a mixture of uh, well in this case white primer and yellow paint on it it just tidies it up really So there you have it, one EFE 176 double O gauge scale training bus. A small amount of work required in the way of tidying up, but not a lot left to do. And uh, I'm quite pleased with the result, especially given that this model was produced pretty quickly uh, to get this video finished. Looking into the cab area here, we can see the improvements with the time we spent reworking the interior and uh, the windows with the window sliders and the openers and it's all looking pretty good. What does it cost? Well, not a lot. Uh, the donor model, I think, in this case was about five or six pounds. Uh, some time and some paint. And uh, I suppose you could put this onto a well-known internet auction site and uh, easily recoup all of your money if that's what you wanted to do. As for this model, well, its future still to be determined. We'll see. I hope you've enjoyed this short series on creating your own Code 3 model. Next time we tackle one, we're going to get a little bit more surgical and drastic. That's it for now. Take care, stay safe, see you soon.